Board Farm Cloud Solution from TimeSys is a solution that supports remote access to your hardware, access that's granted to uh, teams of developers, testers, uh, that can be geographically dispersed across the entire globe. In this picture, you can see that architecture consists of a master server, and to the master server, there is uh, a number of zombies connected. Number of zombies can vary. Um, this is something that's uh, set up specific. Every zombie can have up to four device under test connected. Let's take a look closer at the um, solution at the Board Farm Cloud master first. Master server resides within your own private network. It runs software that allows um, centralized device management. It controls zombies and through zombies devices that are connected under test. Uh, it provides a multi-user access so different members of your team can um, access and control uh, hardware remotely. Um, the control uh, consists of a console access, power control. You can uh, flash SD cards, um, do the image transfer. You can do hot plugging tests, uh, and of course, other tests that are designed uh, for your product. So let's take a look at the hardware behind Zombie and um, the device under test. So on the top right hand corner, you can see a zombie, which is divided into two sections. Uh, one that controls um, really the hardware, uh, which is uh, surrounded in red. And then blue uh, shows um, various additional ports that can be used for application level testing. The IOCX box, which is on the bottom left corner, uh, is the device that's hooked up to your uh, custom hardware and allows you to control peripherals of your hardware remotely. Looking at the actual um, footage of a zombie, you can see on a left-hand side that's dedicated to control your target hardware that you can connect up to four boards. You can connect boards directly to a zombie or you can interconnect it through the IOCX box if you want to control on more onboard peripherals. If you work without the IOCX box, uh, as you can see, you can uh, connect your target system uh, Ethernet port here. You can also connect uh, the serial console uh, of your target system here, and that's pretty much it. If you want to control um, SD card, um, if you want to control GPIO pins and other onboard peripherals, you have to use the IOCX box. The IOCX box is connected to Zombie uh, at the SD Max connector, USB connectors. You can see the four connectors which connect back to um, the IOCX box for S SD card control. And you also have uh, Ethernet communication ports, IOCX comms, which uh, connect to the um, IOCX box. And this is how Zombie can control the IOCX box itself and issue commands um, that then are translated into uh, commands that control specific onboard peripherals. On the right hand side, we have those additional USB ports, Ethernet ports, which can be used to uh, connect additional um, testing equipment, for example, to your um, device under test, uh, JTAG probes, perhaps, uh, that assist with application level testing and also system level testing. Let's take a look at an IOCX box next. Uh, you can see that this is the back of the device. We have a comms uh, connector and SD max connector. There's also a device under test SD card. So this is where you plug in the SD card instead of the uh, hardware under test. The device under test power is drawn from the connector that's on top of the um, uh, IOCX box, which means that I can control the on and off um, 
switch for the device under test. And this is the front of the device under test. Uh, you can see that we have multiple ports here, or groups of ports. On the top, we have a hot plug uh, set of ports for the networking. So this is a, a way to test uh, physical connect disconnect of an Ethernet um, connection. Same for a USB device. I can plug a device into IOCX box, and the other uh, USB port is to connect the um, USB device to your actual hardware. Down below, we have also a connector for I2C that can be adopted for other buses. And we also have uh, pins for GPIO. So I can just run wires from the IOCX box to your board to specific GPIO pins. Um, and this way, I can remotely control on and off um, on GPIO, specific GPIO um, pins. The last one is the ribbon cable that sticks out from the front of the IOCX box, which is uh, finished with a, a micro SD card connector that plugs directly into your device under test a micro SD port. Let's take a look at an actual connection to a device under test. Uh, this is a front of the zombie. You can see that there is a wire that's running from a console USB connector to the target board. And then there is a, a, another USB uh, white wire that runs to the back of the IOCX box. Uh, there's RJ45 um, plug or cable in the IOCX comms which is um, used by Zombie to communicate with a um, specific IOCX box that um, then controls peripherals on the board that's uh, seen here in the first um, plan. On the board, we can see that there is a micro SD card connector plugged in. There is uh, a serial cable to the pins. Uh, there's Ethernet and there's also a USB device plugged in into a USB connector and also some HDMI out, for example. So let's take a look how IOCX box connects to it. You can see that um, the, uh, there is an LED um, lit next to the ribbon cable, which means that this is active. We also have a USB um, key plugged into a, a USB port, and from the other port, there's a cable going out, So, which means that I can control a hot plugging uh, of a USB um, key device. And uh, I can also run uh, GPIO wires uh, or wires to GPIO pins from here um, if I want to test, let's say, LEDs or um, some other functionality that's uh, directly driven on uh, specific GPIO pin numbers. The board from cloud is controlled by software that's delivered by TimeSys and installed on the master server. This is the front interface to that software where you can add a zombie, add a device, or access any of the features of um, this remote board management system. When accessing um, information on devices, you first need to sign in after which you will be able to take a look at all the devices that are visible to you. You will be able to allocate a device to you. You can then launch a remote console. You can retire a device. You can also see who else um, has access to a device. You can control the power state of a device. You can uh, turn the device on and off remotely. You can access a console session over the serial port or SSH. You can also take a look at the live video streaming. So if there is a screen connected to a device, you can see what's changing on a device. And you can also access an IOCX menu, which uh, allows you to hot plug the devices remotely. In addition, you're going to have access to uh, logs you will also be able to transfer a release image to an SD card remotely. Here are some of the examples of uh, menus that allow you
to control the access to the hardware. On the left hand side, you can see the console and power controls. And you can also see a screenshot of a live video stream below the console output. With Board Farm Cloud, you can uh, control different uh, power devices. So you can use power switches, um, power strips. You can have, you can define custom power switches. You can do hot plugging of devices. Uh, and what's very important, you can um, hot plug SD card. You can write an image um, remotely to an SD card, uh, unplug it from a device, and then plug it back with a new image. So to summarize, uh, BoardFarm Cloud provides a multi-user access to uh, this uh, device management system. It supports multiple different types of devices under test. Um, it provides remote access for development, debugging, and for demos. So you don't need to have the hardware sitting on your desk uh, to perform these actions. You can uh, remote the access, format, and flash an SD uh, device. You can uh, boot the devices either from a NFS root file system or from an SD card. You can hot plug Ethernet or USB devices. You can customize the IOCX to uh, your specific hardware, and we will help you with this. Uh, BoardFarm Cloud provides a built-in app test server, which uh, allows you to uh, verify additional features and uh, perhaps peripherals of your product, and allows for remote monitoring through video streaming, audio streaming, and so on. With all the discussed features and functionality, um, BoardFarm Cloud can provide uh, an invaluable help, especially if you uh, want to do remote testing or if hardware is scarce or for some reason is not easly available to, uh, to development or testing teams.